Crazed man with bulletproof vest and throwing knives tries to access Trump Tower looking for Ivanka Trump. Hello folks, my name is Jen, I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have a news story. This one comes courtesy of the Daily Caller, and it says that a Bronx man armed with two throwing knives attempted to gain access to Trump Tower and Ivanka Trump on Thursday, according to reports. The New York Daily News reported that a man, Adam Benitez, 52, was wearing a bulletproof vest as he showed up to Trump Tower around 4 p.m., where he told Secret Service agents protecting the building that he was a U.S. senator and owned the Manhattan skyscraper. Benitez claimed that he wanted to meet with Trump, Ivanka Trump, in order to discuss her dress line. Ivanka, an advisor to her father, was not in the building. She is with President Trump and other administration officials in Europe for the G20 summit. Benitez was arrested after Secret Service agents noticed his bulletproof vest. He was taken into a hospital for psychiatric evaluation, and he was also found with a fake New York identification card. He was charged for weapons possession and possession of a forge instrument. So, uh, a couple things. One, Ivanka Trump doesn't even live in Trump Tower anymore, and she lives in, in Washington, D.C., and the other thing is that uh, the ones that do actually live, I think, I'm one, I think they live there is um, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump. But I'm not 100% sure if they actually live in Trump Tower. But the thing is that Ivanka hasn't lived in Trump Tower or anywhere in, 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 uh, in Manhattan since before, I think it was like a week before the inauguration. She and Jared Kushner both moved to Washington, D.C., where they are now renting a house. And um, they're basically on the same street as Obama and others from uh, Congress and other senators, too. They're all in the same in the same area. So Ivanka Trump isn't anywhere close to where this guy was. But as you guys can see, the leftists, these crazy, crazy liberal lunatics are not only wanting to go after the president because usually that's what happens when these crazy lunatics don't like a certain uh, president or whatever they only usually they only go after him rarely they go after his family but as you guys can see the, these leftist lunatic lunatics don't only want to go after president trump they want to go after melania they want to go after ivanka they want to go after don jr they want to go after everybody okay so even though she's not in in politics per se, she is also a target from these crazy, crazy people. So as you guys can see on the screen on your right side, those are the throwing knives that they were that you know the uh, Secret Service agents found on that person, and he was also wearing a bulletproof vest. So nobody really knows exactly what his intentions were. Were they to access the building and try to stab her with those things or um, just trying to get as close as, as, you know, as he possibly could. And then, you know, obviously, you know, he, he thought ahead and said, hey, you know what? They might shoot me. So that's why you wore the bulletproof vest. So this is very, very scary because you know, they're trying to, you know, um, prepare for, for something by doing this kind of stuff. Okay. This is just a test. I'm a hundred percent sure that this is just a test. So this is just another example of the left going crazy, trying to, um, trying to get at other people other than the president. And not only that, all of this crazy rhetoric coming from liberal liberal people in Hollywood, uh, other people that are connected to the Democrats, even Democrat uh, people in, in Congress and stuff like that. All of this rhetoric that they say, they fuel these crazies so they can go and do this kinds of stuff. The good thing is that Ivanka Trump wasn't there. It good, the good thing is that I don't think uh, Don Jr. or... Uh, Eric Trump were either there, either of them were there also. So 
it's a good thing that this guy was found and hopefully he gets thrown into the loony bin because this guy is pretty crazy. Okay, this was premeditated. It wasn't something that um, that just all of a sudden happened and it wasn't a spur of the moment thing. This was completely premeditated and I hope that stuff like this, they throw the book at these people because that way it will stop from others from trying to attempt the same thing and who knows, you know, who knows what might happen if one of them actually gets through. So let us know what you guys think about this, folks. This is some crazy stuff. They're targeting everybody. And as you guys know, this is coming and is getting scarier and scarier every time. Just a few weeks ago, they had the shooting of all the um, the people at the, at the baseball practice before the congressional baseball game. You know, where they uh, they got Scalise, they shot him in the hip, and they also wounded a few other people working in, uh, in you know, in government. And, uh, you know, it, it was pretty crazy stuff. And now we have crazy lunatics trying to infiltrate uh, different places and uh, with weapons and stuff like that. So it's all getting pretty crazy. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And like always, my name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times. If you guys missed any of your previous videos, check them out. Follow us on social media, and I hope to see you guys here next time. Peace.